Is your child passing pale stools or pale feces and unusually dark urine? Are the whites of your child's eyes yellow? Happy you can join me in today's video. I am a registered nurse, children's nurse, working in the UK for many years now. So in today's video, it's all about this new warning that came about from Public Health England. So we received this um, email in our mailbox saying that there is an increasing case of hepatitis in children so i wanted to come on here and just share some of the signs and some of the symptoms that you should be looking out for in your child um, as an indication of whether they have um, this hepatitis or not and also some of the things that you can do at home to safeguard your child to prevent your family in general from catching this infection sis so this outbreak that we have in in the uk we are not sure it is we we term it as an unknown etiology so we are not sure what is causing hepatitis in children in the uk and it mainly affects children between the ages of three to five years old so what is hepatitis Hepatitis simply means that something may be wrong with your child's liver. It means that the liver is inflamed and this is caused by a hepatitis virus, which is very, very contagious. So we have five main types of viruses that causes hepatitis and each of these virus is responsible for a different type of hepatitis. So we have hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, hepatitis D and hepatitis E. Okay, but at the moment, as I said, we are not sure what is causing hepatitis in children so young. That's the right side of my abdomen, just underneath my ribcage. For those of you who don't know where the liver is located. So your child may be exposed to any of these common viruses that causes hepatitis. Or the nasty viruses like cytomegalovirus, herpes simplex virus, rubella, pavovirus, an adenovirus which the health care officials in the UK think that is causing this hepatitis in children. So we see some common symptoms. We have jaundice, which means the yellowing of the eyes, yellowing of the, of the skin. One waste product of blood is bilirubin, which is a yellow substance and that can build up in your child's body. Okay, we have Itching, you know, if your child is itching all the time, then that might be a sign of hepatitis. Also, you have pale grey colored poo. Again, that's some of the, your, your liver is not working properly. You will see vomiting in your child. And remember, vomiting is caused by many other bugs. So you have to be mindful that the vomiting may be a cause, may be caused by something else and not hepatitis. Okay, we also see dark urine because the liver is not working properly. It cannot filter the blood. So you have all the toxins going into the urine. Okay, things that you can do at home to protect your family and to prevent the spread of hepatitis. So make sure that your, your child follow good hand hygiene. Also your GP might recommend that other people in the family get immunized against the hepatitis okay so there are immunizations that you can get to prevent um your your, your the rest of the family members from catching hepatitis obviously if your child is unwell do not send them to school and your gp might also say to you that while we would recommend that your child use separate um utensils from the family okay so these are the ways that you can prevent the spread of hepatitis in the home like with any infectious disease we say good hand hygiene how is, is hepatitis diagnosed in a child so your doctor will take a history to find out where your child has been and who they have been in to, in contact with also your doctor can arrange for blood tests to check the, the liver function, how your child's liver is functioning, and also they will do some x-rays, some CT scan, 
ultrasound scan, maybe an MRI scan, or an a liver biopsy just to check the how damaged, how inflamed your child's liver is. How is hepatitis treated in a child? So treatment for your child will depend on your child's symptoms and also their age and their general health. You know, if they are well with the hepatitis or if they have a lot of the symptoms that I've mentioned earlier on. So the goal of the treatment is to stop the damage to your child's liver. Okay, and it's also to help ease the symptoms of hepatitis in your child. So that may include giving your child some medicines for the itching. Encourage your child to have plenty of rest, to eat a healthy diet. And so you will be working very closely with your doctor to prevent the infection from spreading to your family and to prevent long-term complications of liver damage to your child. So your child will generally feel unwell, okay? And this is again because the liver cells are damaged, so your child will have um, feel very tired, very lethargic, and obviously you know um, you know your child best, so you know what's normal for your child. You know you, you will know instinct by your instinct that your child is not well, and it's, then you should seek medical attention as soon as you can to prevent further damage to the liver. Thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope this video has been helpful to you and if it has, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, 